So this is my work. I'll show you the beginning. This is work called Bear Mountain. So Bear Mountain is a place um, about an hour and a half north of Manhattan uh, that I used to go and spend my weekends just walking through the woods for the whole weekend, kind of camping with a dog, photographing uh, these really frightening trees. These were done, and here's the interesting thing about this. These were done on Kodak film, but developed in Perceptol. And Perceptol, if you know, is that Ilford film developer that is really extraordinary because it's phenodone based. Is that true? Do you, do you know that it's phenodone based, yeah. right? And so when I discovered phenodone as, a, as opposed to metal based developer, I, it, it, it gave you this specularity that's completely different than any of the Kodak systems. And I think that was my first introduction into Ilford chemistry. And after I started using the Perceptol, I started using the Bromofen, which is their paper developer, and it's also phenodone based. It gives you a different range in your specular tones than a metal based product does. Um, so this is all post-graduate school. So I'm really then at that point kind of versed in just the chemistry and what the chemistry is doing. So after this project, which went on for about three years, um, I just started making my own developers using both of those agents. These were 30 by 30 inch prints. They're all done with flash during the day and night. I used to get terrified because I'd be walking, walking in the woods alone and, and I would sleep there, right? So I would bring something to eat, I'd sleep there, because it was that whole moment from like Friday night till Sunday night that just to walk through the woods, kind of like a Thoreau type of experience and just to kind of lose consciousness and lose kind of my ties with everything else. There were no cell phones, thank God. And you could just kind of go somewhere and figure out how to get back to your car by Sunday night. <laughs> 